The history of humankind is still full of mysteries today. With zeal, archaeology is busy uncovering as many of these mysteries as possible. But there are still some archaeological phenomena that scientists cannot explain for the time being. Whether the salt men of Iran, Bull Rock Cave, or ancient artifacts in Alaska, are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our journey. The Salt Men of Iran In 1993, workers discovered a mysterious mummy in the Iranian salt mines of Cherabad. Researchers estimated the preserved body to be about 35 years old, a man with a long white beard and a golden earring. The dry and salty climate of the cave had preserved the body well. Today, the head and foot of the first salt men are kept in the National Museum of Tehran. The special feature? The body could be dated back to the Sassanid period. It had been in the salt mine for about 1,700 years. Archaeological work intensified from 2004 onwards, and since then, seven more salt men have been discovered. An international team of researchers investigated the origin of the mummies. Some of the finds could be dated back to ancient times, when the salt mine was already being worked. Although the researchers were able to gain some insights into the dating and way of life of the mummies, the origin of the finds in particular still puzzles archaeological researchers today. Olmec Colossal Heads the Olmecs belonged to the early Mesoamerican cultures that lived on the Gulf of Mexico between 1500 and 400 BC. Even today, the fascinating culture of the Olmecs is full of mysteries. Unlike the well-researched Maya, the Olmecs left no writings about their mythology. Essential information about their culture has been lost with history. In the 1940s, attention was drawn to the colossal heads of the Olmecs. From the 1940s until 1994, about 10 colossal heads were discovered by archaeologists in San Lorenzo Tenochtitlan, Mexico. The gigantic stone monuments rise up to 2.85 meters in height and are made of historic basalt stone. The elaborate stone heads were likely all created by 900 BC. According to today's estimates, they represent former rulers of the culture, but still, the impressive stoneworks provide more questions than answers. The Bull Rock Cave Bitsi Skala, that's the name of the prominent Bull Rock Cave in Czech. It's located in the heart of the Czech Republic, in the middle of the mountainous Moravian Karst region. The cave system is considered the second longest in the whole of the Czech Republic, and it has a long history that is closely connected with the history of human development. People already lived here in the Paleolithic Age, and the Bull Rock Cave fascinated archaeologists as early as the 19th century. At that time, a historical camp of hunters was discovered, as well as an artistically created statuette of a bull. Later, several skeletons were found in the cave, some without heads or limbs. Did ritual burials take place here, or a dangerous confrontation? Although the cave system is considered very well explored, archaeologists are still puzzling over the origin and significance of the finds. Since 2004, the cave has been protected as a national nature reserve. The Iberian Warrior Vase One of the special archaeological finds of the last century is the Iberian War Vase. Discovered in 1934 in the province of Valencia, not far from Liria, the historic vase is decorated with elaborate images of war. Archaeologists date the origin of the elaborate vase to the 3rd or 2nd century BC. At that time, the historical city-state of Edeta existed in the region, where the prehistoric Iberian culture of the Edetani lived. In the 3rd century BC, the Cathars had great influence on the region until the Romans took control a century later. The vase, barely half a meter wide, was discovered in the remains of a historic temple. But what do the detailed decorations of the handcrafted find point to? Why does the craftsmanship of the vase surpass many similar regional creations from the period? And what exactly was the fate of the city-state of Edeta? Many questions remain unanswered to this day. Rock Holes in Sudan on the western bank of the Nile, in the heart of the African country of Sudan, strange holes can be discovered in the rock formations. One thing is certain, the holes have been carved into the rocks by human hands. Presumably, they are reference to historical pile dwellings that were embedded here in the Mesolithic period, between 9000 and 5000 BC. 
The precise cylindrical shape of the holes is striking, making a natural origin unlikely. In 2015, local archaeologists undertook extensive surveys of the area and the unusual rock holes. One of the special features of the Mesolithic period was that effective metal tools were not yet common. The making of the holes by human hands must have been correspondingly time-consuming. But why exactly were the holes carved into the rocks at this point? Fossils of strange cone-shaped sea creatures Even today, the sea still holds many secrets. It's not uncommon for researchers to come across finds or species that are difficult to classify. Around 530 million years ago, the wondrous hyolithids lived in the Earth's oceans and puzzled researchers when they were discovered. In 2014, Canadian scientists found the fossil in British Columbia's Burgess Shale. The strata, known for their fossils, unearthed a strange creature, a creepy crawly about 15 centimeters tall with cone-shaped armor. For a long time, they were thought to be relatives of snails, but the strange symmetries of the shell were clearly different from known marine crustaceans or snail variants. Therefore, they are now classified as hyolithids, a group of animals in their own right. But research on hyolithids has so far only scratched the surface. These mysterious creatures will continue to occupy researchers in the future. Ancient Chinese Board Games Board games have a long tradition, some of which can be traced back to ancient times and prehistoric China. The game of Mill, for example, can be dated back to at least 1400 BC. Early variants were discovered in an ancient Egyptian temple. The Chinese board game Lubo, which was already played in ancient China around 1500 BC, is similarly old as Mill. In recent years, parts of the originally popular game have been discovered in historical excavation sites, including so-called sending tablets that were part of the game. Since then, researchers have been trying to understand the structure and rules of the game. Research into the game is complicated by the fact that the rules have likely changed over the years. Today, Chinese Lubo is perhaps one of the most mysterious board games. Small Chinese Abacus Ring among the important historical artifacts from China is the Abacus Ring, which archaeologists ascribe an age of 300 years. The Abacus was already widespread in prehistoric times, and its origins can be traced back to the Sumerian period, around 2700 to 2300 BC. This historic arithmetic tool can still be found today in a wide variety of forms. A special variant is the Chinese abacus ring, where the embedded tool is only 1.2 cm long and 0.7 cm wide. The artifact, which belongs to the Qing dynasty, is one of the early examples of portable calculating aids. The compact spheres on the ring are so small, they can only be moved with tools the size of hairpins. The portable calculating aid would have been useful for traveling merchants, for example, but its origin is still unclear today. Where did the small ring, which is considered a pioneer of modern portable computing technologies, come from? Fountain with 99 spouts The number 99 is omnipresent in L'Aquila, Italy. The town hall clock chimes 99 times, and the town is home to a fountain with 99 spouts, the Fontana delle 99 Canele. The number is deeply rooted in the founding history of the capital of the Abruzzo region. Thus, L'Aquila is said to have been founded at the time of the Roman German Emperor Frederick II in the 13th century, at the bottom of 99 villages. One of the most archaeological significant structures in the town is the fountain, whose watercourses come out of 99 openings. But despite the founding myth of the L'Aquila, the meaning of the number 99 remains disputed, nor is it clear why the inlets consist of 93 water-spouting masks and six simple pipes. Who once built the Fontana, and what is the significance of its 93 visages? The fountain is one of Italy's greatest architectural mysteries. Despite all the mysterious happenings, one thing is certain. The Fontana della 99 Canella is considered one of the most impressive buildings in the Italian region of Abruzzo. Ancient Bronze Artifacts in Alaska In 2015, archaeologists discovered strange bronze artifacts in Alaska. Close examination revealed that the artifacts could be dated back to a time when Columbus had not yet discovered America. One of the artifacts, a historical buckle, must have been made around 600 AD. But at that time, there was no bronze processing associated with smelting in Alaska. 
Researchers concluded that the two artifacts must have come from China, Korea, or Yakutia. This would indicate early trade connections between the Asian and North American continents, even before the Europeans discovered America. In the meantime, it's firmly assumed that the Vikings discovered America before the Europeans. But when did the trade connections with Asia begin? And what other secrets do the bronze artifacts from Alaska hold? Archaeological finds can give us information about the fascinating past of the planet, and sometimes they merely provide the first clues to historical mysteries that will occupy mankind for a long time to come. Contemporary archaeological wonders include the salt men of Iran, the Olmec colossal heads, and the cone-shaped sea creatures, heolithids. What archaeological mysteries are you aware of and what explanations do you have for the historical puzzles mentioned? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. The world around us is filled with inexplicable things that have held a fascination for us since the dawn of mankind. Skull of a Werewolf When Bulgarian-born Trik Dragunov was plowing a field in the village of Novoselo in the Republic of Macedonia, he found a buried box locked with chains. When he opened it, he could not believe his eyes. According to Dragunov, the mummified skull inside belonged to a werewolf. The historian Philip Garnev heard about the find and met with the farmer, who presented him with his find. Garnev describes the unusually shaped skull as that of a wolf, with the difference of an enlarged brain case. This feature is found mainly in primates. The historian photographed the skull and submitted the images to government biologists for analysis. They concluded that it was the skull of a wolf that suffered from Paget's disease. In this disease, the bones of the skull enlarged and appear more human. Werewolves have been mentioned in Balkan folklore for thousands of years, and there are many legends about the origin of werewolves. In some regions of the Balkans, people believe that the ability to turn into a wolf is innate. In other regions, people believe that those who have committed a mortal sin are reborn as werewolves. In all regions, people believed to be a werewolf were threatened with exorcism, decapitation, and burning of the body. The Despilio Tablet the consensus among archaeologists is that writing was invented in Sumeria between 4,000 and 3,000 years before Christ. The discovery of the Despilio tablet in 1993 in a Neolithic settlement in northern Greece near the town of Castoria challenges this theory. The settlement was inhabited between 8,000 and 7,000 years ago, and the tablet with unknown writing found there is considered by scientists to be more than 5,000 years old. The wooden tablet was examined using the C12 method and dated to 5260 BC. The Despilio tablet is thus more than 1,000 years older than all previously known Sumerian writings. In 2004, the find was made public, and at the same time, it was announced that the text could not simply be deciphered without considering the historical context. Ancient civilizations in the Middle East used ideograms, while ancient Greece used syllables to express themselves. The tablet is partially damaged, making it even more difficult to decipher the writing. It's currently undergoing restoration. Chakreshwar Temple North of Mumbai lie the remains of Nala Sopara, which was an ancient Buddhist center in the region 2,300 years ago. It grew up around the port of Sopara, and the Chakreshwar Temple was among the structures. In its heyday, Nala Sopara was a city with fortifications, houses, marketplaces, palaces, and a monastery. It was enclosed by a moat and could be entered through 17 gates. The Trakweshwar Temple was a temple of the god Shiva about 1,000 years old. The original temple was destroyed long ago and replaced by modern structures. Currently, ornate tiles adorn the walls and floors inside. There are many other sculptures and images of the gods on the grounds, and legend has it that Buddha personally visited Nala Sopara. Mirrors from the Iron Age In 2007, an Iron Age mirror was found in the town of Didcot, south of Oxford. During an investigation of the soil, the metal detector struck and brought the rare find to light. The ornately crafted mirror is typical for England and is dated to the late Iron Age. A total of 58 of these mirrors exist, and only 18 of them are completely preserved. The specimen found in the town of Didcot dates back to the 1st century BC, and impresses with its unusually beautiful pattern on the back, which was made by a true master of his trade. Mirrors were real prestige objects in the Iron Age, which only a few people had in their possession. 
It's unclear what functions they performed in the Iron Age. In some cultures, mirrors are seen as a magical object that provides a different perspective on the surroundings or serves as a portal to another world. Experts assume that mirrors were mainly used by shamans and fortune tellers in the Iron Age. It's excluded that this mirror served as a burial object, as it was not found near burial sites. During investigations, experts noticed the striking similarity to the Pegston mirror found between the villages of Pegston and Shillington in Bedfordshire. The site was the grave of an Iron Age woman, 40 kilometers from the site at Didcot. Experts agree that the two mirrors were made at the same site. A metallurgical examination corroborated this assumption and confirms that the same bronze was used in the same manufacture of both mirrors. Pueblo Bonito Pueblo Bonito was discovered in 1849 during a military campaign in the U.S. state of New Mexico. The Pueblo Indians built the inhabited Pueblo Bonito, which translates as beautiful city, from 823 to 1126 AD. Archaeologists see the monumental structure as an important center in the region for the surrounding communities and see evidence in the ruins of trade in cacao and ceramics between the local Indians and people from Central America. In addition to its function as a trading center, Pueblo Bonito was also used for administration, communication, and as a burial site. Only a small part of the large structure served as a living area. Five stories tower from the valley floor on an area of three acres with more than 600 rooms. Around the semicircular structure of the building are two plazas and avenues that connect the buildings. Pueblo Bonito is divided into two areas by a precisely aligned wall that runs from north to south through the main square. Small kivas for Indian ceremonies are located in all parts of the city. In its heyday, Pueblo Bonito may have had several thousand inhabitants. Experts suspect that the people left the place between 1100 and 1200 AD because of a drought. Ishengo Bone the Ishengo bone is the curved bone of a baboon 10 cm long. It was found in 1950 by the Belgian geologist Jean de Heinzelen de Braucourt in the former Belgian Congo and today's Democratic Republic of Congo on the northern shore of Lake Edward. On the bone, there are notches arranged in three columns to form several groups and a quartz at its narrower end. It's not clear what purpose the Ishengo bone served. One theory sees in the bone a calculating rod and another speaks of a calendar function. At present, the object, which is estimated to be 20,000 years old, is in the Museum of Natural Sciences in Brussels. Mysterious Winged Structure Archaeologists unearthed a winged structure in the east of England near the ancient city of Wenta Iconorum. The find is attributed to the Roman period and is thought to have been built about 1800 years ago. Experts stated that the wing shape of the structure is unique among all buildings of the Roman Empire. The structure seems to be part of a building complex, as aerial photographs prove. There are other structures to the north of the complex, as well as to the northeast and northwest. The foundation of the wings consists of a thin layer of clay and lime. This suggests that the structure had wooden walls that were plastered with clay. Only the central room was built of stone. Researchers suspect that the structure was not intended to be used for many years due to its construction. Denisova People While most people are familiar with the term Neanderthal, Denisova man is unknown to them. Both belong to the genus Homo and are close to the modern humans called Homo sapiens. The first evidence for the existence of Denisova man was found in a cave in Siberia in 2010. Scientists assume that our ancestors spread from Siberia to Southeast Asia during the last Ice Age. Modern humans share a common ancestor with Neanderthal and Denisova humans called Homo heidelbergensis, which originated in Africa. Between 300,000 and 400,000 years ago, a group of Homo heidelbergensis left their native Africa and moved north. Once in Eurasia, the group split up. Some moved west and evolved into Neanderthals, and the people who moved east formed the foundation for the evolution of Denisova humans. Giants in Death Valley In 1947, the discovery of a group of amateur archaeologists went through the press. The focus was the discovery of human remains with a body height of 2.7 meters. The spokesman for the expedition said that the discovery in the caves of California's Death Valley could be the inhabitants of the lost continent of Atlantis. The 32 caves, spread over an area of 180 square miles, 
contained the mummified remains of humans, dinosaurs, and tigers. The authenticity of the find is doubted by archaeologists, as there are several million years between the existence of dinosaurs and tigers on Earth. Mythological Weapons Could the Vajra found in the valley of Kathmandu in Nepal be a mysterious weapon that can shoot lightning? Some theories suggest that it's of incredible destructive power and is responsible for the collapse of many technologically advanced civilizations in the past. This mythological weapon is said to have been used not only for destruction, but is also a symbol of fertility. For example, it's said to be used to summon rain and thus secure the harvest. If you look closely at some Buddha statues, you can recognize the Vajra in his hand. Vajra comes from the Sanskrit language and cannot be translated unambiguously because of its numerous meanings. Vajra stands for an indestructible substance, usually symbolized by a diamond. Our world is full of secrets and mysteries that puzzle researchers despite scientific progress and ever new technologies. The Voynich Manuscript or Stonehenge are just some of the most famous examples. Across the globe, there are a multitude of mysterious discoveries that raise more questions than answers. A mysterious object. In July 2013, a series of mysterious incidents occurred in Zimbabwe, which to this day have not been solved. In several parts of the country, three strange rocket-like objects fell from the sky with a loud bang within just one week. The startled villagers discovered the unknown objects in the bush and immediately alerted the police. When they arrived at the scene, they could not believe their eyes. It seemed as if rockets had fallen from the sky. The objects were huge structures made of metal and aluminum, 1.8 meters in diameter and 3 meters long. The army also inspected the objects, but without success. Even today, no one could explain what the strange metal bodies were all about. Why did they all appear at the same time? And why not afterwards? The mystery is likely to remain in the dark for some time. Hornet Balls If you ever visit the United States in the state of Virginia, you should definitely pay a visit to the Gold Mining Camp Museum in Goldvein. During the gold rush, Virginia was an important stop for gold miners from all parts of the country. At the museum there, visitors can marvel at a strange attraction that residents call Hornet Balls. The Hornet Balls were discovered some time ago in an old mine near the present museum and appear so strange that they alone are worth a visit. They are large, hollow spheres made of steel with an opening with a grill at the end. The name comes from the sound they make when rolling, reminiscent of hornets. What exactly the spheres were used for is still a mystery today. Some suggest that the miners may have used them to separate the gold from the rock. Others believe that they were rolled along slopes to break off stones. But all this is speculation, and so the meaning and purpose of the hornet balls remain shrouded in darkness. Cave Paintings of Kazakhstan In the south of Kazakhstan is the Tangeli Gorge. Here on the countless rocks, strange drawings of past peoples can be found that still puzzle scientists today. The drawings likely date from the beginning of the Bronze Age and show deities, warriors, herds of animals and shamans in hundreds of paintings. The site has been known to the Kazakhs for centuries, but it was not until the 1950s that a Soviet team of researchers set out to examine it more closely. The scientists divided the paintings into different groups. One group shows shamans, while other drawings tell of human-like beings performing rituals with animals and images of sun gods. What is special about the paintings is their different times. Some were likely made during the Iron Age and show rather simple figures. Still others were created later during the settlement of Turkish tribes and show knights. Even today, researchers have not been able to find out how the various drawings are all connected to each other over time, which deities they show, and what rituals people might have performed at that time. The paintings of Kazakhstan raise more questions than answers. Elephant's Foot Chernobyl Disaster The Chernobyl disaster was to change our world fundamentally. The images of the melted reactor and the atomic cloud over the whole of Europe are still burned into the memory of many older people today. One image that is likely emblematic of the devastating consequences is the elephant's foot of Chernobyl. During the core meltdown in Reactor 4, the uranium core became so hot that the container, together with the coolant, formed a dangerous mixture of steel, concrete and uranium. The radioactive lava, also called corium, was so red-hot that it could eat its way through several floors. 
Only in the basement of the reactor did it come to a standstill and form a huge lump, which was later given the name Elephant's Foot because of its enormous weight. To this day, the lava-like object is so radioactive that it still cannot be examined in detail. In the laboratory, researchers are trying to recreate the exact conditions under which the elephant's foot was formed, so it remains an extraordinary and fascinating object. Medicine Wheel When it comes to mysterious Aboriginal structures, most people think of the statues of Easter Island or Stonehenge. At the top of Medicine Mountain is an equally mysterious stone structure, the Medicine Wheel of Wyoming. The stone wheel is about 24 meters in diameter and has 28 spokes. The number 28 is sacred to some indigenous peoples in North America. Medicine wheels were often built by Native Americans in the past. Contrary to their name, they were supposed to help predict astronomical events such as the summer solstice. In addition, they were also used for various shamanic purposes, such as sun dancers. However, still nothing is known about the exact functions of the medicine wheel. It seems that the knowledge about them has been lost over the centuries. Hum Phenomenon In the small town of Taos, New Mexico, some residents have not been able to believe their ears for many years. Reports are accumulating that a deep, booming sound has been heard since the 1990s, the origin of which remains unexplained to this day. Strangely enough, the sound is also perceived and described differently by everyone. But Taos is not the only place in the world where this phenomenon occurs. All over the world, from Borneo to Berlin, people report humming, creaking and buzzing noises, whose origin no one can explain. In Taos, too, scientific investigations have been undertaken and devices set up, but to date none has been able to identify the sound. Some even go as far as to claim that it's pure imagination. Others blame electromagnetic fields for the deep sounds, or even believe that the noises are produced by ghosts. The Oldest Pool of Water on Earth When summer arrives, you can almost be sure that swimming pools will fill up quickly. But would you ever swim in the world's oldest pool of water? In 2016, researchers discovered the world's oldest preserved collection of water in an ore mine. The water has a proud 2 billion years under its belt. This makes it almost half as old as the Earth itself. The age was determined by scientists through the radioactive decay of rocks in the cave. For science, the discovery of water is like winning the lottery. Measurements can be used to find traces of past life in the water. But how exactly the water in the cave was formed and whether microorganisms might even live in it is still the subject of intensive research. Should the researchers find microbes, this could even provide clues to life on other planets under extreme conditions. Mysterious Manuscript The owner of an antiquarian bookshop in Australia, Lorraine Smith, was presented with a strange find one day, an old manuscript written in English on parchment, inside an old edition of Alice in Wonderland. Neither the owner of the shop nor the customer could make sense of this strange document. The family hired a professor of history who backdated the origin of the manuscript to the 16th century. But the document could not possibly have been in Australia at that time, because the British did not settle Australia until much later. But how did it get there then? As it turned out, it was a legal document describing the transfer of land between two families in England. The document was kept and passed on by another family called Brown. Their descendant eventually immigrated to Australia and kept it in a book undiscovered until it came into the hands of Lorraine Smith's client. But how exactly the document came into possession has never been clarified. So almost 300 years of family history from England and Australia remain hidden. Strange Stones In the small town of Westwood in New England, there is a strange circular cairn that is typical of the region and regularly amazes visitors. However, most people have forgotten the function of the stone circles. The stone structures were city pounds that had to be built according to law. In the early days of colonization in North America, the land was not yet divided and farmers' animals grazed on common, wide-open spaces. However, this practice regularly caused chaos and led to pigs and cows wandering around and even invading churches. Town pounds were built for this purpose. Guardians were appointed in New England towns to keep stray animals in check. Although the practice has long since ceased, stone fence watchmen are still jokingly appointed in Westwood today. 
300 million year old screw. Screws date back to a technique that was already known in its early and simple forms in Roman antiquity, but scientists still cannot explain the discovery of this screw. A team of Russian scientists examined a meteorite that fell to Earth over Russia millions of years ago and discovered a strange structure inside that looks amazingly similar to a screw. Speculation quickly arose that it could be technology from aliens who, according to one theory, visited Earth at that time. Other researchers suggest that the find could be a fossilized sea creature, the shape of which can remotely resemble a screw. However, these are typically smaller and therefore do not come into question. It seems that science continues to be in the dark. Finally, your opinion is needed. What do you think of these mysterious discoveries? What explanations do you have for the findings? And do you know of any other strange objects that still cannot be explained? As always, write your opinion in the comments.